This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Chris Rogowski and Brian Vernon from McDonnell Advanced Ceramics and they're going to talk us through their product range and capabilities. Cameron, thank you. Uh, we are ceramic manufacturers. Uh, we specialize in the tubular products. Uh, the materials we would produce would be aluminum oxide, uh, mullite, zirconia, and a hybrid silicon nitride or a Cylon material. Uh, here today what we're displaying is the range of our capabilities from a size standpoint. So not just the materials where we can produce parts in diameters up to in excess of 300 millimeters in, by a slip cast process out to say two to three meters in length down to the very smallest precise components from extrusion process uh, in this case having 44 bores. Uh, in the extrusion we can produce these parts out to excess of four meters in length. Uh, some of the markets we would supply would include uh, the crystal growth and labware applications. Primarily where people are working at high temperature corrosive environments. When we say high temperatures, we're talking in excess of say 1650 degrees Celsius. Uh, corrosive environments, including mild acids uh, and abrasive agents, alkalis, all would see service use with our materials. Another primary market where we use these would also be in the furnace applications. So for furnace tube, high temperature processing. Uh, with that, you have the chambers where you would actually control the environment, actually do the processing of the materials, and also for the protection tubes and thermal wells. One also area that we would do a great deal of work with, one of our largest markets, is in thermocoupler sensing applications. These are multi-bore ceramics that we extrude. Uh, manufacturers would take these, uh, use precious metals, platinum rhodium wires to produce thermocouples for measuring temperature. There again, high temperature corrosive environments. All right, Chris, thanks for showing us through your product range and uh, your capabilities. Cameron, thank you, appreciate it.